It's like half our team in front out of our respective like towns or tribes because that was like my origin story. <laughs> I was like abandoned and run out of my tribe, so oh, no one wants to around. Stole my house from me. I was I was I run out. Get it back. So yeah, technically I was run out. <laughs> We're all misfits. Well, We're all you misfits, guys, so you guys are, no, you guys are all misfits. I'm still. A very I'm, famous I'm gonna be a full fit when I get my my house back. That's all I need. I need my house. <laughs> you just you're doing this all for a house, man. You can make enough money going on these adventures. Just buy a new house. Don't worry it's about that nice old house. house. There are secrets in the house. Oh yes, very very big secrets. So we should go raid his house. That's what I'm this. saying. <laughs> There's a giant rat in the basement. You have to defeat him first before Maybe you can get any of the secrets. Of them. <laughs> Three giant rats. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you guys should be oh. seeing a room. Um, what's going on here is that um, you guys were sent by your um, by the university to. Um, uh, sorry, my brain just died. Um, you were sent by the university to, um, oh, jeez, to investigate, um, a locked room mystery. Um, over the past few days, a sage has been in his, um, office in, uh, Candlekeep, which is a giant, um, city-sized library, basically. The entire city is used as a library, except for the occasional spot where they're selling food and whatnot. Um, this sage went in six days ago. His assistant was bringing him food and water and whatnot, and then yesterday it stopped. Um, the door has not opened the entire time. Foster, you might be um, muted if you're trying to talk to us. Um, but yeah, that's what's happened. You've just arrived, um, and what what do you do? We're at a room, and uh, we're supposed to go find some dude that's locked in his the room. Sage. He might be dead. The sage went missing. Apparently, yeah. uh, the yeah. door hasn't opened since she left. So the door is, uh, is the door locked? I just try it. Um, the door is locked when you arrive. Um, the assistant opens it for you um, and you says everything is exactly as it was when I found him missing. Uh, you guys are about ten <laughs> stories up, so he's he's not a powerful enough spellcaster to know the spell fly or teleport. So his only ways out are out the front door past his assistant or out the window and there was no body. Uh, I've got a passive investigation of 14. Is there anything that's going to jump out at me right away? Like especially about that chessboard or his actual table there. So desk, sorry. looking at the chessboard, you're not really seeing anything. It's It looks like he's been... Uh, you do see like a... Um, a letter there. It looks like he's playing by correspondence with someone in Waterdeep. Um, it doesn't look like it's a strange um, kind of out, uh, anything strange on the board. No. Okay. I have a. Wait. I got twenty intelligence. Um, is there a way I can fuck with the board so that he's gonna lose? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say with that intelligence, yes. You you just. You move one piece over, and it's a checkmate in one. Next one, the other guy's the got queen a queen gambit. I just did, by the way. That's what I thought we would. Does anybody have like, um, uh, like a fine magic spell or anything like that? See what's magic in this room. Actually, I'm I like, oh, I do indeed. This is going to take me ten minutes, but I pull out something that kind of um, like flips open, almost like a smartphone. And then I start tinkering with it. So in 10 minutes, I'll ritualistically cast 
detect magic. All right. I'm going to start talking to the uh, assistant during that time. Okay. So uh, um, maybe ask if there's any other keys or if that's the only key that opens up that door. Uh, the assistant, who's a, um, a young satyr, um, says, no, I, I have the only key. Um, he even has it locked from the inside and asks me to open the door for him to um, let him out. He's very studious when it comes to his books. Um, he had actually recently just brought in one. That's what he was locked in his room for, was to work on a um, particular book that had just been brought into the library. Oh, what book? book? Does he have that book right there? Um, oh, actually, I didn't hear this, but never mind. <laughs> Did I overhear? Uh, you might have. Yeah, you're, you're looking at the um, chessboard, um, and you're casting. So over the next 10 minutes, what does everyone else do? And do you have any other questions, Dylan? Uh, well, my other question was, did that book go in there with him, or is it still out here? Uh, it, it went in with him. Um, he glances over your, uh, well, past your side, because he's a young guy, so he's shorter than you. Uh, glances past you and says, it's on the uh, lectern there. Okay. Ah. Well, I'm going to go take a peek at that book. Okay. And, uh, see where that sense. So I, I just have a, like, general question. Yep. How familiar are we with each other coming into this um, um, situation? Uh, I'm feeling we're going to be hitting elbows quite a bit, um, kind of pushing everyone out of your way. Yeah, you're, that's what I'm doing. Some of you might be new to this um, uh, department of the university, this fringe department that looks into the weird stuff that goes on in the Forgotten Realms. Um, ah. that some of you might have been before. around a while, some of you are brand new, um, it's up to you, but you're just just now starting your adventuring career, as it were. Oh, okay. I'm brand new, baby. I don't I'm know any of you. I've written a lot of books, so I really don't care what you guys think. <laughs> I I know That's everything there is to know. <laughs> hey Brad, can you hear me, Marty? Um, what was that? All right, so first can thing you hear I me all right? first thing. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can hear we you. can hear you. You're a little muffled. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. you're a little muffled. <laughs> Can you what? You want to ask for some fat, fat nuts? We need some subtitles for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Divine, so sense. Uh, Divine, Divine sense. Divine sense. Yes. Um, you detect no um, fiends or celestials. Uh, is it fiends, undead, and celestial, or is it just one or the other? So it's all three. It's all three. Yeah. No undead either. <laughs> no I was just making sure. <laughs> Can't tell you too much. Can I start looking around the room for uh, like hidden doors or like you know um, pull on the book? Well, over this ten minutes, out? you're investigating the um, um, the, the the board. The yeah. board. Um, yeah, and I'm clicking gears and uh, do that with my thieves tools on my little counter right, thing. Awkward. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to remember everyone's character names instead of going with. Dylan, it's yeah. uh, Sakamov, right? Gamos. Oh, Gamos. I like the scam people. Scamos. Scamos. Right. <laughs> um, Golomov. That's where I got the Omov from. Uh, what are you doing? Um, so, based on his backstory, he would probably be one of the um, first people into this new department of uh investigating the spear literally weird because he is a teacher of quote unquote finding your astral self okay um so he's uh he's just gonna dive right into it with, without um restraint just feeling like he is one of the um more experienced members here okay um so he's just gonna basically um <laughs> he's gonna stand in at, well he's gonna listen to the um conversation that scamos had with the um the assistant there okay. um and what what's the assistant's name because or 
Did we get that? Um, he is uh, your. If not, I'm gonna ask. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't really care to ask the assistant that much. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you'd think you'd be uh, trying to get in his pants. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy's like an intern, right? I would have just pushed past him. Yeah, he was. He he's an intern, basically. <laughs> so, uh, Olimov, he's uh, he's much more um, accepting of people and trying to always get them to find their spiritual selves um, or their astral selves. So he's he'll touch Jordan on the shoulder and be like, "My friend, let us go. We'll find your astral." Thank but, you, sir. Uh, now, <laughs> let me feel the room. Uh, and he will stand in the middle of the room and just, like, uh, perform. <laughs> not not elephant noises, but, like, um, like, a set of martial arts moves, like, just, like, going out and reaching into the air and, like, pulling the wall. To it'll look like pulling the wall towards you himself. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, through the like yeah. My, <laughs> my character is gonna roll his eyes so much that's visibly audible. <laughs> hear him rolling his eyes. Like, I'm just gonna go drum and start playing a beat for him. Not sure what to do with about anything. Iggy, uh, will turn around to the um to the intern and he'll go, hey, snaps to twice and he goes, get us some tea. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> I'm gonna start playing my drum for Connor before he starts. Super coming. green. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he nods and runs to get you tea. Um, Are there any uh, rodents or mice in this library? Um, there do not appear to be. Do an even, investigation like, for mouse poop. Even right. on the very lowest level. It's very clean. You, it's very clean. It's, it's very clean. It's like. They they obviously don't want any rodents to be chewing on books or anything like that, so it is like it's it's a no animals allowed kind of place. Except for has anyone, uh, has anyone just looked at the windows? I mean, I know he can't fly out of them, but is there anything, any exit points or anything like weird about the windows? Um, oh, that you should look, yeah, look for the so, fingerprints or handprints on the window. Right? Yeah, you go, you go over and check the windows. Um, it doesn't look like they've been opened in a while. Um, there's like dust on the sill. Um, you don't notice any fingerprints. You do notice some uh, bird shit on the outside, but that's about it. <laughs> Right. The top right of the corner of the room. What's that? Is that a chest? The chest. Uh, Maybe yes. there's some birds where that bird shit is. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you might be able to see the birds outside. Talk to them, see if they saw anything. Start tapping on the glass. Are there any birds outside? Uh, there currently are not any birds there. Um, but Wonder. yeah, that's. Uh, Basically, all you're seeing right now, they're uh, hiding. They're 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 not there. Um, no no nests. It's just occasionally they find a place to poop. Um, so, so uh, quick question. Yep. Uh, is my Baldur's Gate Sage background? Uh, Baldur the Baldur's Gate feature is uh, rumor monger. Right. Was this guy doing any shady shit that I know of? Um, so, was there any shady rumors or any rumors about this guy that would probably be known? Um. Well, he did have young interns, young boy. Interns. <laughs> Nothing comes to mind. He's kind of a uh, goody two shows, as far as you can tell. Um, See, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really pay attention to him because he's not in on the juicy drama stuff. No. Have we investigated <laughs> the book that he has? Like someone's looking at the book right now. Yeah, I think I was reading it. Yeah, Mel, you should. What did you get from the book? book? So... Check for any hidden compartments in the desk. Um, what is? Is that the fireplace? 
boys. Oh, actually, I should. What's that? Did I investigate the fireplace? Um, yeah. We'll see if he's stuck up your, there, right? <laughs> as you're doing your divine <laughs> sense, you rock on over to that. Rock on over. And let me Is that going to throw a roll here? Uh, you're not seeing anything particular. Um, Pick your head up there. Get right in there. Yep, so, I'll put my head right up in there. I'll look right up. Um, there's, there's nothing. You see a lot of soot. That's about it. Um, it's, it's late winter going into spring, so he was obviously using it fairly recently to keep warm. Um, so, um, Skimos, um, you do not notice anything with the book. It's in, it's written in shorthand and you're having a really tough time, um, deciphering it. You, you can't like, reach shorthand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a very specific shorthand. Um, is there anybody shorter than me that can read it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you do know, Iggy Fa Iggy um, uh, let's see. I should be able to open this. And... My, my languages, but I don't, uh, I think I'm only smart enough to know the one. Show to players. So, I well, you don't lose languages should... if you don't. Oh, is that what the guy looks like? That is, well, you have to be bald to read it, I don't know. That is the book um the writer of the book um would be even even with a low arcana um you are able to tell that uh this is morden canaan um the book itself is called the joy of extra dimensional spaces um and he definitely opened up the, the book. uh the shorthand is That's called Eric Joel. What's that? Does it spark joy? <laughs> yes. It sparks, sparks joy. joy. Um, Insight know. check. Actually, I looked at what the fuck? The wrong. You having a? Were you going back and forth, or is that just me? That... That's everyone. Yeah. Okay. For you guys, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with Discord. Discord likes to be a jerk sometimes. What's uh what's the name of the book again, sorry? The Joy of Extra Dimensional Spaces. Um so it sounds like you know what, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> um It's too obvious. Yeah. You know, if you guys give me one hour with the book and I can just stare at it, I can actually find out what the purpose is. Even if it's magical, like the I can, I can un undercover the purpose and uses of any object, language, cultural practice, or similar subject, which includes magic. Is this just is that in your like features and trait? Like, how do you guys find this stuff? <laughs> it's one of the things I yeah. picked, I yeah. picked as an antiquarian or whatever. Antiquarian, yeah. I, I, like a, okay. I like I like so yeah. His his, right? his background is features and traits. Yeah. Um, is, is that little, like, assistant guy back with the tea? Uh, not yet, no. Um, it's been ten minutes, so maybe he has to go a little further than just the floor below. Um... Then my, uh, my spell will go off. Yes. <laughs> it goes off, and you, um, spot there's All right, nothing... Alright, so how it works is it's got like a big rotary dial on the top with the crystal mm -hmm. so the clock it's like a geiger counter so the rotary thing spins and clicks faster and faster the closer it gets to uh magic and then the crystal will glow whatever uh color the magic is okay um so um let me see you are getting so what color is conjuration conjuration is orange Okay, so it's turning orange, it's very light. Um, you follow it and get closer to what it is. It's still very pale, as though it's um, a very, uh, not very potent magic. 
Um, and you find going through not the shorthand, even though you can, I bet your um, passive, oh, you don't have passive arcana, so yeah. You, you look at the shorthand and you're kind of still the same. You flip open the book and find the exact page that this is on, and you see the word scepter, which is the closest one that it comes to. So that's where it starts, like, tw yeah. uh, clicking the most on that word. Yeah. Okay, I'll hold it up and I'll go, scepter! Okay. And as soon as you say that, um, uh -oh. a portal Room appears, rolls. and why is that still showing? Are you guys still seeing the uh, thing on top of you? Books on the book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're still yeah. seeing the book. Uh, okay. As the portal opens, I'm going to push Golomov through the portal. You son of a <laughs> okay. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do a strength check on that, right? Um, possibly. So let me see. I'm going to have to stop streaming and restream the uh, display because it's not showing any of that on my screen, um, unless it is on. Oh, it is on the display. Okay, so that's a bug I can send to them about. Um, okay, well, what I will do is I will move you guys and the start point, um, and then restart because it should not take very long at all. Um, who is first through the, uh, first through the breach? As it were. Pull him off because I pushed him through. Okay. So right when that thing opened, I pushed him. <laughs> I would like to, while in a Tai Chi stance, while he attempts to push me, grab him, toss him under me, and jump over him. And like <laughs> yeah, toss you're, him you're, in, like, you're, you're funny, like fro fro frog leap him. Yes. Frog I'm a monk. You're all about. You're all about <laughs> like non-violent. Confrontation with uh, exactly. <laughs> that's that's why I'm just swooping you in, in yeah. into the hole. <laughs> and all you can hear is, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll you for it. Okay, sure, so let's roll. Bookmarks. And... How do we? What do you want to roll? Do you want to roll Dex, Con, Strength? What do you What do you feel like? Uh, well, I would feel that that is an acrobatics for me, but oh come on, uh, I'll do Dex. Well, that's what uh, the okay, acrobatics. Let's do dex, or acrobatics. So acrobatics. Save that. Dex both ways, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's do the acrobatics one and see who wins, right? So boom. All right. Natural so... 20. 22, buddy. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so as you right. do that, I grab your trunk and I flip you over into it. Which trunk? Uh, the one between his legs. <laughs> oh good god. Okay. So... Uh, you could beat me. You could definitely beat me with the 22. What'd you get? Yeah, I would have 15? had, no, I got a 15. Ah. I would have had to roll a heck of a lot higher. You crit on that. That's the, I feel like that's the only reason you win that, because I have plus right. six. Right, I only had plus two, so it would have been like, there's no way. <laughs> I just happened to grab hold of something as you were doing that. Well, lucky. It's more of, it, it, it would be more of, I don't get to do that, and you just like, push me over anyways into the hole. Yeah. Uh, what do they say? It's, it's good to be lucky, or yeah, it's good to be lucky, and you're lucky to be good. Or is that, how's that saying goes? You gotta be good to be lucky, uh, and you gotta be lucky to be good. It's, it's good to be lucky, and you gotta be lucky to be good. Or yes. something like that. Yeah. So, uh, let me go into here. Yeah. While you guys do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another drink. I'll be right back. Okay. I was creeping through all your guys' um... Uh, character sheets. Nobody else bought equipment except for me. <laughs> what? I did. Oh, did you? I, must have, I, must I have equipment. Yeah, I have, equipment I have my bedroll. I have my clothes. I have my. I took cold weather gear instead of um, fancy clothes. 
Because they're the same parries. I figured I could. I think we said we could do that. Yeah. I mean, I so. tried to buy equipment, but then Brad told me I couldn't. Because it was like a super fancy cold armor. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going for the armor of cold resistance. <laughs> I mean, it made sense. Yeah. <laughs> I Try. I only have 10 gold. I don't really know how to buy equipment or any of that. Oh, I can. I think I've just been in the, I've been in the wilderness too well, long. I don't know how to do shit. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna have access to some sort of like furs or something, or like I cold weather. weather. I have cold weather clothing. Yeah, you'll just have to cuddle with uh, that fire newt. Yeah. Yeah, my newt's around somewhere. He doesn't. I don't know what he does. He just carries my sh my stuff right now. For now. For now. All right. So. I for Danny DeVito to come into play. Who has Danny DeVito as their uh, sidekick? Who was that? Is again? that Patrick? No, I got a I got a crazy fish dude. I got oh, right. Danny DeVito as my ombre. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just how I'm gonna imagine him from now on. <laughs> when I looked up what he was, that was the only way I could pick up explaining it. <laughs> oh, so did we did we find that guy? So. A portal opened. Patrick kicked uh, the elephant guy into the he, portal. And then he tossed me through, and I grabbed him by the junk, and we we, we <laughs> fell through together. We <laughs> fell through together. <laughs> I'll, I'll walk through the portal after them. All right. <laughs> so. I'll leave last, and there's paper on the desk, right? And ink? Uh, yes. I write a note detailing what page and what to say for the intern, because I still want my tea. Okay. <laughs> and then I tell him to do that and come through the portal. And um, I'll like, I'll like, kind of like uh, nail it to the door so we can see it. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Bring it through, you so bastard. You, uh, well, you take a few steps in after you're thrown in. Um, you, like tumble into a clump. Decker. Yeah, we kind of tumbled in together because I did a <laughs> yeah. really high deck. <laughs> <laughs> so you pull him anyway. in. And yeah, you guys arrive in a room, uh, in a hallway actually. The ceiling is uh, 15 feet overhead. Long hallways stretching out to either side of this tiny foyer that you show up in. Um, and just through the door that is open, he's quite surprised because he had just opened the door, is a uh, little human sage he's a shorter older man and he looks surprised and says oh thank you very much for opening the portal for me how come you couldn't have opened the portal for yourself i didn't know what did the... it close on this side or what it did i don't know how it closed or why it closed but it did so you're gonna say something there you didn't know how it opened in the first place i imagine I don't know. Didn't know how to get out. <laughs> you were quite helpful in doing this for me. You see, he's carrying a little uh, figurine of an imp. Is the portal still open behind us? Yes. Somebody stand in it halfway so it doesn't close. <laughs> Yeah, I say, keep your hands out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Says, um, yes, the uh, the servants here were quite kind enough to give me some food while I was stuck. It's been here. around a day, but yes. Yeah. Where is here? Here. Who are the who are the servants? Says this is uh, some sort of Morden Canaan magnificent mansion, but it's permanent. You don't get shunted out after uh, the the time limit. Oh. Have you Why found you anything here? pretty nice here? Magical? It is magical. Um, well, like and you I'm asked... talking about like magical swords, <laughs> magical other stuff, stuff that I can put in my pocket. Says, oh, there's much here. I don't know if anything is magical in that way, but definitely you should... You should look around. I, he picks up this figurine. I'm sure this is worth money on top of the right. the I studying will... it, that can be done. Let's wait. I, um, I still I have will... my uh, Geiger counter open. 
It must be going crazy in oh, here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's bright orange and just going nuts. All right. I'm going to go and uh, palm that uh, thing that's in his hand, figurine, and put it he, in my pocket. I'll he, be right back. he keeps you from it and says, no, no, this one's mine. I, I found it fair and square. Can I do sleight of hand? Try it. I'm going to go look over there. Sleight of hand. <laughs> Um, he does not let you just steal it from him. Fourteen. <laughs> he, uh, pushes past you. Oh, holding a strong, holding a very strong grip on it. Um, Elephant dude, is this your stop first that guy. Can I, can I ask him about his figurine? Um, what is it? Yeah, he. Why is uh, he so attached to it? It is a uh, something that can be uh, used. Used how? Researched. I think it's taken over his brain. We should kill him. Um, Anybody? No, I no. Think you're onto something. I think you're onto <laughs> something. Personally, <laughs> we got the two bars going. Know? Uh, I can were use, you... wait, I have the power of telepathy. If something's, if he's not telling us the whole story. Um, might as well try it, huh? So, your telepathy, um, oh, and of course that's picking up the wrong thing. Jeez. I got telepathy yeah, too, I can do a mind link. It's just telepathy, so it's nothing yeah. special. Yeah, it's your telepathy works in um, you speak to the person, not uh, they don't have to respond. Yeah. Oh, so it's like um, like using a cell phone. Yeah. Just chatting. Basically. Or texting someone. It's a it's a very yeah, short mind. a very short range cell phone basically. <laughs> um, I want to look around the space, like what everything looks like. Okay. In the immediate vicinity so were we able to get a good uh, a look at the figurine um no? it looks like an imp an imp eh? yeah is this what? your first time in here it says yes yes i had just found the uh the book i was reading it over the past few days and i noticed in the um notes that uh the wizard fistadia had written about the book the um the keyword to open but nothing can I the inside one, who that imp is to him like who is the imp that he's holding i don't know it was it was a figurine that i found here there are many other things here could i do could i do an arcana or a history on it after seeing it uh you can which one would you prefer um Depends what you're trying to figure out. I just want to know who, who, it, who is, it is, or not who it is, but what it is. You know that sort of thing. If it is, uh, like a, a magical thing, I imagine it's going to summon something. Um. Well, you so could I, I roll an arcana. arcana. Yeah. Yeah. I'll roll an arcana. I'll say nineteen. Nineteen. So it looks really lifelike. It's possible that it's a uh, petrified creature. Um, we're in the time of uh, imps aren't really a thing anymore, are they? Um, so right. imps are known. Um, we have our whole... Are we uh, talking like... So, Sorry, I just want to know like context for like yeah because I know you said like monsters are less common now so like beholder so I'm assuming we're talking like beholders giants dragons um, like those big so monsters obviously. dragons are because they run the banks um, oh okay yeah <laughs> and, <laughs> that makes sense yeah the the hell riders from Elturel are um, a branch of a uh, they're now like working to fight against um the abyss so 
the imps are pretty well control. known because the Hell Riders do employ imps to fight against um, uh, so demon worshippers. So imps are pretty common. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to shape change myself into an imp and try and uh, persuade him to hand me over his totem that he's um, holding to convince him that I am actually said totem and he has activated me. I think imps can't so, as humanoids, so you can't shapeshift. Into yeah, them. you can only shapeshift I mean, into I'd... other humanoids your size. Oh, okay. Yeah. He'd be a really big imp. <laughs> I go for a walk down the hallway to the okay. left here. Would we know anything about this kind of spell? Um, Magnificent Mansion? Yeah. Um, you would know that it has a, um, a maximum duration, um, as most spells like this do. Um, he says he's been here for more than a day, a little more than a day, and it hasn't gone away. So, well, am I standing in front of a doorway? And if so, can I open it? Yeah. Um, so, as you're opening it, um, the sage, whose name is Matrius, says, Please continue looking around. You can take what you want. The, the wizardess is long dead. Best whoa, to whoa, whoa, study whoa. everything. The Mordecai, Mordecai guy is dead. Uh, Would we be able to... Insight check. I don't think I don't know if this guy is even the the um oh, he says he the is. tribe. All right. Um, yeah, you're... Uh, sorry, who did he say? What did he say his name was? Can you spell his name? Matrius. Um, M A T R E O U S. It's him, guys. It's cool. Yeah. You got it? Oh. I-E-O-S. I got a four. Um, uh, uh. It's <laughs> M-A-T-R-E-O-S. A-E-O-U-S. Sorry. I'm so going to suggest... Is he making his way out? Is that what he's trying to do? Yeah, because yeah. we should stop him if he does. Could I Anybody... try and to stay with us? I'll, I'll just say... If you try and leave the if you go to that portal at all, I will find you and I will end you. You will stay here and wait for us to be done. I uh, I'm gonna give you a fist bump because you said that. Uh, um, yeah. uh, his yeah. Uh, you can roll some bones on that. Um, you got a. Um, do you have proficiency in that? I don't think so, do you? No. Um, so, oh yes you do, so 14. Um, if you want you can roll to see if you get higher, but you get what you get, or you can take the 14 for your passive. I'm going to roll for that. Okay. Yeah. Roll the dice. Take a chance. Um, is he intimidating? Four. Yeah. Is that uh, 13 a, plus? 13 plus 4. 13 plus 4? 17. Um, I would like to hold him and help him by giving him advantage. Or can I help him with this? By, like, basically holding him in place. So you're going to grapple him? No, no, no. So, you know, like, when um, that big sketchy guy comes up behind you and he's like, yeah, it's a good idea for you to stay and, like, starts massaging your shoulders. Yeah, puts his arm and hand on your shoulder and you're like, Jesus, fuck me, right? Like... Yeah, yeah. I just want to do that and just help if I can okay. from the help action. By the way, just quickly, I turn the um, Geiger counter on the statue he has. Does it do anything different? Um... Yes, it is a different uh, school of magic. Um, so it would be 
transmutation. Cool. Does that mean he's not who he th says he is? I don't know this. No, it's on the is, is the okay, is the transmutation on the sage or on his uh imp? On the imp. Mean? So the imp has been changed yeah. into something else. Okay. Um so he is going to when you try and put your hand on him, he very he looks very frightened and casts shield and just runs past you with a Grab kind him. of with a yelp of because ah! he's an old man and look he should be able to get then um bonus action for to grapple him or something right since he's running past him um he right. used shield i mean if you want to attack him you can as he's running past you can get an opportunity attack <laughs> yeah it should be an opportunity you can you could try to grapple him bring out that uh, big elephant, grapple uh, attack opportunity attack <laughs> i'll see it attack him get him something's going on <laughs> and i pull can out I my use the uh, the... I put my foot out to trip him. <laughs> the the trip works, but it does get him through the portal. Where you hear another yelp, and the portal turns off. Motherfucker! I'm gonna kill oh, that no. guy when I get back out. <laughs> I did give him it. specific instructions to reopen the portal to give us tea. You did give the uh, assistant specific instructions. But now he's got his master back. Which negates your special instructions. Do we know that was a real master? Maybe. He looks like it. Well, I have a feeling it wasn't. We should have killed him. I'm going to tell that to all my companions. Let's search this place and see if we can get out. I'll, I'll, I will ask uh, Mr. Fapplestamp there, what did you say again to open the portal? Scepter. Does anything Nothing happens. Motherfucker. Are these, are these doors we're standing at? Uh, yes. Uh, can I peek through the door? I wanted to open a door I'm standing in front of. Yes. So... You open yes, that door and a moment. You see a purple foggy void outside. Oh dear. Jump into it. <laughs> would I would I think this is the astral plane or what? Um it doesn't appear to be the astral plane. Um, you, um, give me an Arcana. Okay, one second. Ten only. These are brutal rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not quite sure. It's possible that this is part of the spell or something. You're not, you're not sure. I think it's a pocket plane. And, uh, so is everyone going to... Uh, I'm sorry? I'm asking Iggy to come in this room with me back me up. Somebody wants to go in the room with you? All right, I'll okay. follow along. Do I have any time wait, left? Wait. My, um... I've, got, I've I... got a rope, don't I? Can someone just tie a rope if you want to go in and then we'll hold the rope? Did I get rid of it? Well, we we're not going outside into that astral oh, plane. No, no, into the yeah. purple void. I thought... No, no, don't, don't go into the purple void. Oh, okay. I'm into a room. I will. Uh, I'll stop you there. I'll say no. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Do I have any time left on my uh, my uh, Geiger counter? Um, you have probably about five minutes. Would I still have my right. device? I'll, I'll follow. Um, I'll follow this giant or uh, half orc in there because I feel safer. Alright, I'll go and I'll start my room. I'm moving it around to see if I find anything interesting. Okay. 
So yeah, sir. Um, we will start with the two of you, and then we'll find out what the rest of you are doing. You guys enter into um, this is um, a room that's containing a battered wood mannequin, um, a weapon hook uh, rack holding staffs and daggers. Um, there's this indigo light coming through the window from that fog. Um, and the floor is stained and scorched. And at the far end of the room, a broom is hovering in the air, sweeping the floor. Your Geiger counter goes to that. Um, that would be, um... I'm not even sure what spell would cause that. Um, possibly conjuration. What's that cleaning, what's that cleaning spell again. Press the digitation. It, press the digitation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that bookshelves to our left? Those are um, weapon racks. Weapon racks. Weapon racks. Yep. Um, are they just regular daggers, or are there any of that? Is any of that magic? None of it's magical. Just the broom. Are they like nice daggers or just regular ones? They're they're regular daggers. They they might be like they're they're sharp. They're new, um, so they're not dulled by anything. Uh, I pick one up and I I throw it at the dummy. At the dummy, okay. Like I'll do. I guess an attack roll. Yeah, give me an attack roll. It's not moving, so it's not going to be too hard. Oh my god! Seven. Seven. You hit the you hit the wall next to it. Um. So while yeah, you guys we're moving fast, didn't really have a chance. Yeah. You're doing that bug where it keeps rolling the same thing over and over again. I swear this is like my third three. I'll try throwing another dagger. Yeah, re. Um... Bro Roll one by yourself and see what happens. Um, what you can do is uh, refresh the page. Whenever I was getting that bug, it fixed it. No, it's just bad luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that nine. Um, so, uh, let's go around the room. Uh, next. Wasn't Foster doing something? Uh, yeah, Foster, what were you doing in there? Oh, I was asking if my divine sense was still going. Um, how long does it uh, last? Okay. It says till my next term. I'm sure it's not oh, that yeah. long, but I think already seeing what's inside this room, I think I answered like my own question. Yeah. Kind of thing. It looks so, like an animate object doing some shit. Yeah. Or just chilling. So uh, your next turn would be six seconds. So it ended quite a while ago. I'll, I'll investigate the dummy. Does it look like it's been recently used? Does it look like anything fancy um not really there's there's absolutely no dust in here as evidenced by the broom um but yeah it's it looks pretty fresh it's obviously been hit a few times but it's uh it doesn't look like fresh hits um so uh Golomov, what would you like to do uh, and anyone else who wants to go off to the right this is what I was going to do. Okay. I was going to go first, unless uh, someone's running ahead of me, specifically. Um, you can take the first set. I'm going to... See, this is the thing, is that I'm too nimble just to get hit. Just dodge. I really hope you run into something. We'll find out. <laughs> dodge. Dodge. So, um, was someone going with? Yeah, I'll go with. Okay. That means I'll grab Lilith Snow Owl and I'll drag her into the room with me. Right. That's awful. Um, so I'm... She slaps you for dragging her. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to disregard it because my character's a dick, so she doesn't really care. <laughs> I think at this point you're the dick. <laughs> oh, man, man. Every time uh, has been a dick. 
I mean, my characters have kind of a common theme. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Night through fog. There we go. All right. So, oh, there's a cat. Because it's not dark, oh. so you guys should Perfect. be able to awesome. see. See, the universe works in wondrous ways. Oh, awesome. Dinner has been taken care of. Dinner and who? Cats. They're an orcish. Uh, oh, delight. Yeah. Orcish delicacy. <laughs> Aphrodisiac. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what we need a horny orc. <laughs> well, we're in a oh, pocket my dimension. <laughs> no, my character will go crazy. Back in the day, we used to deep fry these in lard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, you're heading through the first door, right, Golomov? Yeah. Okay, it is a kitchen. There's a little amp. Oh, sweet. There is there are... any food around? Oh, there's... I'd like to smell for food. They are cooking. These are um, not imps. They look like little clay men with wings. Wings and big sort of cat ears. Gargoyles! Uh, did they look like the imp that he was carrying, or...? No, nothing like the imp. Um, oh, okay. So, um... I'm gonna, like, stand in the middle of the kitchen and, like, tr sniff my trunk around all of them and see oof. what they're actually cooking. They are cooking, um... They're, they're cooking, basically, it looks like breakfast. Oh. Um, Just start tasting it. So, one of them says, uh, Oh, how can we be of help to our honored guests? Cooking? Cleaning? I... Mending your clothes, perhaps? Uh, um, I, uh... I don't, because we haven't introduced myself. I don't know if we know each other or not, but, uh, eh, eh. Oh, anyways, I'm going to hit the gamos behind me and be like, hey, looks like we found the good one. What, uh, what you got cooking? Breakfast. The, uh, the sage asked for it, so we're making sure it's ready. Ah, How well. did the sage ask for? Breakfast. Coffee. We've got a uh, coffee brewing. Ah, uh, what about tea? Mm. We can get you tea. We've been waiting for tea. <laughs> ah. One of like the short ones time. would appreciate tea. Okay, I will but, uh, uh, get one started. The sage is gone, and there's more of us here. So it's what time to quarters? make some more food. We can make more, yes, absolutely. What was that, uh, uh Can you point me to the sage's quarters? Oh, he didn't have quarters themselves. We told him he could use uh, our master's quarters. She hasn't been around in a long time. And where are those quarters? Upstairs. Go up the stairs and... Uh, Take a right. Might be worth investigating. What do you think? You go ahead. I'll help them. You're gonna eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just gonna chef tax. I'm gonna help them, but I'm gonna chef tax the entire time. Okay. You heading upstairs? I'm gonna let the crew know before I go upstairs. Okay. So, uh, I'm also gonna make small talk with them while I'm helping them, uh, stuff like that. And, uh, in that I want to ask, uh, who was their original master for the sage? Um, so, the, uh, brown one says, oh, I was created by Fristadia. And the purple one says, I was created by Freyat. Sorry, Fistadia. Uh, can you spell that? Um, fist. 
Um, oh, it's Fistandia. So Fist and yep. IA. Okay. Um, made, what was that? Um, I'm going to call it a gargoyle. Um, or I'm going to ask, what are they? What are um, you? Uh, one of them says, oh, we are a humunculi. Ah. My name um, is. And what's his name? My name is Cumin, and this is Coriander. Cumin. Uh, uh. And then, so, Fistandia made Cumin, and, sorry, who made Coriander? Frey it. Well, by law now we have to kill them. Frey it. Um, and my, is it F R E Y A T? O T. O T. Okay. Frey it. Made. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, I'm just gonna make, ma and then outside of that, I'm just gonna make small talk with uh, with them. Okay. So I'm gonna help them make food for everyone. All right. So then we'll head over to Lilith and uh, Corbin Deckard. All right. Let's start searching this room. Okay. Yeah. Look around. Look yeah. This room. So in this room, su suggest to Lilith she should talk to the cat. Um, so so this I, is yeah, okay. <laughs> a study. So the entire far, far wall of this room is a floor to ceiling bookshelf. Um, there are more books on the two armchairs and wooden tables. Um, several paintings on the wall and a fluffy black cat is curled up on one of the chairs on top of one of the books. Okay, um, I'll use my... Um... Uh, speak with animals. Okay. Uh, spell? Do I? How do I do that? <laughs> I cast. You cast. Um, there should be a little thing next to yeah. that says slots, and you click that, and it'll use up the spell. Okay, so I cast it. Okay. Um, and I wake up the cat. All right. He wakes up and stretches and says, "Hello, what's up?" I'm going to nudge Lilith and say, ask him about that weird dude with the, the little figurine. You don't even know if you can do this. <laughs> What's that? She's got antlers, man. I'm not a dumb guy. I've written lots and lots of books, and I've been in university for quite a while. So just because you've got 20 intelligence, my friend, doesn't mean you can talk down to me. Well, I'm going I'm I'm to write another book about you, Mr. Fapple Stamp. Yeah, crazy guy. Um, oh, I asked the cat about the sage. <laughs> Says, about oh, he was nice. He would scratch me behind the ears. Um, was he a real sage? <laughs> uh, ask him about his former master, the uh, the wizard. It wizard is. Says, oh, Mordecai. I don't even remember. I've been here for so long. It's been so long, I I haven't even seen her face. What's her name? Uh, what can... Oh, what's her name? Yeah, what was her name? Do you know the name of the wizard is? Can I ask what? him what her name is? Says, I don't pay attention to two-leg names. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can he tell me about this place? What does he know Says, about it? Well, the two clay ones make good food. Um, stay out of the dining room. Where is the dining room? Why do we have to stay out of the dining room? Cats go in, but they don't come out. Cats go in, but don't come out. Ask him where the dining room is. I haven't. I don't know about all this stuff. But I'll just. Um, she, where, I imagine where... she's. He's speaking out loud, so I can... <laughs> Where is the uh, dining room? Uh, end of the hall. Okay. Yeah. Which side of the hall? <laughs> it's a cat. What's it going to do? Right or left? Well, I'm sure. All right. Tell it to take us to there. Take us to and the dining room? Yeah. And then I'm going to pitch it in. No. <laughs> you, can't just, you can't hurt any animals. It's not a real animal. 
so don't worry about it. Could you take us to the front of the dining room? I suppose, yes. If you if you really want to go in and never come out. I'm gonna oh. nudge Lilith again and say, what about those clay gargoyles? Did the clay gargoyles go in there? You don't even know about them. I don't know about them. Fuck. Yeah. But did she say something about them? She said something about some gargoyles. She's she's talking in cat. She's not talking in <laughs> in common. She's talking I, in cat. I'd imagine she's she's cats, reverbing. She's telling me what's going on. Cats meow and meant. purr, and they do a lot of body language. And she's doing that. She looks crazy. And, and I'm and I'm and I'm, <laughs> poking her, I'm going. What's he saying? What's he saying? I've read about yeah, this shit. He's probably he's probably um, tapping my shoulder every single time. Yeah. Like, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I could get I could uh, get that through Patrick's character. Yeah. That's not a that doesn't seem a stretch for me. I'm probably getting a little annoyed from it. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? What? Um, can you tell me more about? You said there were two clay guys that cook for you. Yes, they're always in the kitchen. Sometimes they go other places. They're good at petting, too. They've been here longer than we have. Are there any other places that we shouldn't go in? Any other rooms we need to stay away from? He thinks and then says, um, Well, the library has lots of paper. It's really boring in there. Um, the, the little lizards out in the arboreum are mean, they play games, um, and upstairs is fine, there's nothing scary up there. There's lizards I can talk to, so that's pretty good. Um, is the dining room downstairs or on this level? It's on this floor, just at the end of the hall. End of the hall. I don't really think, is there any, uh, I'll ask Patrick, is there anything else he wants me to ask the cat? Yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to pick up the cat and I'm going to say, take us to the dining room or we're the fuck you want us to take us right now <laughs> <laughs> he uh scratches you because he's a cat and he's definitely going to hit um it only deals one damage but you've got you've got a cut and he he does that thing Jesus where Christ, he he like scratches and then does that kick with his back legs to get you to let him go you son of a bitch I apologize bit. <laughs> for my partner's rudeness and give the cat a nice scratch behind the ears. So, and I'll back off, but I'll put my hand on my razor. He's uh, on the other side of you, letting you pet him and giving giving Corbin Deckard the uh, stink eye. I'll flip him off, too. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many cats have gone missing in the dining room? <sighs> Oh, I can't even. That's a good question. Think hey, Melissa, um, you don't. You, if you look at your spells too, I think your uh, speak with animals is a ritual. So if you take some time, you don't have to use up a uh, spell slot for it, depending on what you want to do. How do I? How do I see that? Um, it it'll be on the spell list. R. Um, yeah, it'll have an R right beside it. Oh! So oh shoot! Yeah. That's okay, we can take 10, 10 yeah. minutes, right? It takes ten, like 10 minutes to cast it like that, but it's an option if it has an R for you. Yeah. So you can yeah. take so it. You can just... So you guys could have been looking around in there before you cast it. So could I do a quick look around while she was casting? Yeah. Um, do you want me to roll? So what do you want to be looking around at before the cat leaves? I'll probably take a look at... Uh... Just a quick look at the painting, see if there's anything that really catches my eye. A little bit of a look at those papers, see if anything catches my eye in the books like that are pulled out. And other than that, if I could go around and just see if there's any books that I'd know that are sticking in there. Okay. I know that's a lot, but I'm pretty sure my character would just be 
So he's well versed. You take a look at the paintings in there. They're very nice. They're not masterpieces, but they're really good. Um, the books, none of them are. Um, nothing they, stands out. Nothing's here. really standing out. Um, as you are looking at all of these here. You're passing by and you come across to this one and you spot a uh, particular book that you think, huh, and you pull it and then the book? Oh, does the bookcase open? The bookcase moves back. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So as that cat's going over there, I say, fuck that cat. <laughs> <laughs> I found an opening. So this is around the All end. Right. So you've picked up the cat and he scratches you and then you start doing this. I still got the damage. Yeah, fuck that cat. He looks like he's going to the right anyway, so we can go there afterwards. I think, yeah, the cat's probably... He's facing no, right we'll, we'll go investigate where the um we'll investigate where the bookcase opened. Okay. Just before we leave though, I would like to check those uh those papers that are loose. Just a quick skim to see if there's any again like some I don't know if, uh, if there's any of those papers in there that might uh, have a clue to opening up the portal again. All right, so... My cat's just come to visit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's, there's that asshole cat that scratched me. <laughs> so, the, um, the papers don't look interesting at all. All right, I'll um, just flip them on the floor and I'll go back up to the opener. Okay. So you head up here, and there are stairs heading down. All right, we'll head down, and then we'll let everyone else do their stuff. Okay. So... Lilith, you're going with him, or are you following the cat? Uh, I'll go with him. Okay. The cat only said that dining, the dining room was dangerous for cats, not humans. So yeah. Might just investigate that later. So let's move time forward a bit. Uh, about 10 minutes. And, oh, I, I don't to... know why you have a 1430. Yeah, that kind of went weird, right? right. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, 1440. Sorry. I forgot to turn it off before I um, moved it. Okay. So, we will go back to Severn and Iggy. How many daggers are in this thing? Um, probably five or ten. All right. I take five. Okay. And then I want to see what this thing's sweeping up. You said it's burnt over there? I want to um, investigate what was burnt. So it looks like there might have been a uh, fire spell thrown at the dummy that kind of hit the floor, kind of like your your dagger that you threw. Completely missed and scorched the floor, and the, the broom is on the other side sweeping up dust. It can't really do anything about scorch. Seems like this room's pretty empty. We should go down the hall and go to the next one. What do you think? Is there... Can I, like, um... Should I tell what kind of dust that is? Whether it's, like, person dust or, like, what would have been burnt? Um, so... It looks like possibly person dust. Um, you don't know yet, but there are animals. Um... Probably about the time that you're looking ready to leave, you do see a cat walk past, doing its thing. Um, actually, you see, a cat, Just kidding. you see a cat blast past because it's a cat. And then it uh, just very calmly 
walks back the other way. Well, do I see any like scorched fur or anything? No. Nope. Like, cause you said it was burnt up there, right? Um, it's just some of the wood next to the dummy, the wooden floor. And then the, the groom's just doing whatever. Yeah. I'm going to try to command it. Stop sweeping. Okay. Um, oh, you're not using a spell. You're just saying stop sweeping. It ignores you. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Let's go down the hall and check the next room. All right, okay. I'll go with him. But right before I leave, I turn around and I pull out my little clockwork dragon and I shoot a firebolt at the uh, at the dummy. Okay. So, oh, at the dummy. Okay, you shoot a firebolt. Give me a give me a roll. Fourteen. Fourteen. That is definitely going to hit it. It gets scorch marks instead of the floor. A whole two damage, baby. A whole two damage. Excellent. So let's just move this. Uh, you're going to the next door, not the one at the end of the hall? Yeah, we'll open up this next door. Okay. So and Then I put away my Geiger counter because it stopped working. Yeah. So, you head, enter the room. You enter into a library. A moment to move, Eggy, and then I will open this up. My favorite place in the world. <laughs> so, uh, tall shelves filled with books are lining the walls. Uh, two more shelves are running through the middle, uh, with ten foot wide aisle between them. Uh, several stacks of books are piled high throughout the room, and there are a few small reading desks with cozy-looking chairs. I'm going to look through all the desk drawers. Okay. Um, so, you check this one. Uh, don't find anything interesting. Uh, are you going from there? Are you going north or? Uh, I'll just go. Uh, I'll go clockwise. clockwise. So yes. Yeah. Okay. So you go to this next one, and something shows up. the uh, The books start to spin together into somewhat of a swarm, and. Yeah. I'm going to need... What the hell? <laughs> a swarm of books. It is a swarm of books. I'm going to need some uh, initiative from the two of you. Nice. Seven. Seven. And Foster? Severin? Did we might have lost him. We might have lost Where him. Where did he go? Um, Who's going to roll for him? Oh, roll. He rolled pretty good. Sorry oh, about that. That's all right. It happens. There you go. Um, Sorry, what's what happened? Initiative? Oh, you're getting jumped there. by a bunch of books. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever you roll for me, I'll go off that. You got a number for me there? I think it did roll for him. Oh, it's yeah, I think. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah. I see it in the game log. Did you get it? He got a two. Nice. <laughs> Guys, baby. Yeah. I'm going to die already. <laughs> right. You might. So, <laughs> right next to you is There's a this giant book. A giant book. Um, so, 
Uh, it is going to move into your square uh, right over top of you and try to hit. Um, let's see, can I? Ooh, I can roll in here instead of rolling that. So we get a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to deal six bludgeoning damage. Oh, looking pretty rough. Right? You're almost dead, boy. And then it is... Don't die. Don't die. Where are those cats? It's Iggy up next. Well, I'll use my action to disengage. And then I'll... Um, five, ten... Um, I'll run behind uh, the big orc guy and have the door as cover on the one side. Okay. And then Severin. You didn't see what happened, but you heard something happening. Uh, and I run by and I look like I'm beat to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got bitch slapped uh, by a book. Give me a second, I'll read something yep. real quick. Is Land I, I need one more to the right. Uh, uh, right behind make... the door. Other side of the door, okay. Sorry, folks. How bad does he look? Does he look pretty bad? Oh, actually. Oh, it's not showing on that screen, so that doesn't matter. Um, I just took two thirds of my life. Yeah. All right. They well, got way I'll... more life than me, though. I'll walk up to him and then I'll do lay on hands. Ooh, okay. And uh, I'm not too sure how it does here on this thing with Jake. So it says I can restore. Oh, I can restore up to five hit points. Okay. Yeah. I'll give him three. Three? Okay. Um, Uh, and after that, I will use the remaining amount of my movement to stand in between the bookcase and the wall in front of him. Um, okay, so in between, so here? Yeah, that works. And I'll just stand there and then, yeah, just hang out. Okay. So then the swarm goes. Um, actually, I need to get some music on let's get a bunch of boogie books yeah um combat and random and play You guys getting that audio? Nope. Yeah. No? A little bit. It's pretty faint back there, but oh, yeah. Is it? You might need to turn it up. Yeah, it was, uh, it was loud for me, so <laughs> I turned it down. I thought it would be too loud for you guys. Uh, any better? A little bit, but... Still pretty quiet. Yeah. It's perfect for me. You might have to uh, do your settings in uh, Discord. Yeah. I can hear it now. Okay. Yeah, it's all good to me. All right. So, the books are now going to head down and attack Severin. This time for a natural 20. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Help! God. Right? Are you screaming um, out there? <laughs> Get some people. <laughs> so, um, the card says drop it. So, um, did you already have your weapon in hand? Me? Yeah. Yes, I would have had the weapon in hand. Okay, so you drop your weapon. 
One of the uh, things smacks you, you take three, uh, no, you take six damage and drop the uh, um, sword. And then we've got Iggy next. Uh, Fireball, that move. Uh, if it's too close, I'd get disadvantage, wouldn't I? Uh, you would, but that's up to you. Um, anybody can dual wield, right? Yeah, you just don't get your uh, bonus on the second attack. Okay. Um, oh wait. Oh yeah, I have extra daggers now. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go. I'll dual wield daggers and attack twice. Okay. So here's the first one with my modifier. Eight. <laughs> Eight is not going to hit. The dice don't and like a natural this. twenty on the offhand. Nice. Nice. Four twenty. Um. So. Uh, that doesn't exactly work because it doesn't have shoulders, but it's a good thing. So, uh, between the shoulders, maximum damage. Okay, so, um, I guess four, five damage then? Five, okay. Yeah, because you're using dex, aren't you? Yeah. Alright. Well, my strength and dex are the same anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so that's there. Um, so, uh, next is Severin. It doesn't just poof the book. What does it, does it take an action for me to pick my weapon up, or a bonus action? Uh, I'd say that would be a bonus action. Alright, I'll be very cool and I'll use my foot to kick the sword up into my hand. Alright. And then I'll attack it. Okay. Um, so. Probably be easier to move out of your square. You're not moving out of threat range. You're just moving out of your square to be able to hit it. Um, yeah. Give me an attack. Yeah, 11 damage. 11 to hit? Oh shit, I, sorry, I didn't go to the Nice. Can I take the damage from before? The... Why not, right? <laughs> that was 24 to hit. That was, a. Uh... Is it 24 to hit and 11 damage? 24 to hit and 11 damage. Okay. Um, so that is doing a lot of damage. You notice there are uh, much less than uh, much less books. You you slice through a whole bunch of books. Um, and then. It is going to be, um... How many books are there? Jeez. Oh, there's a big swarm. <laughs> there's a swarm of them. Um, so... It is going to try to attack you again. Um... Gets a 22 to hit. Oh my god. Um, it only deals... Three damage now. There are many fewer books. Oh, oh that's good. And then Iggy. These books yeah, the same thing again. I'll out. just try to nail it with two daggers. Okay. Eight damage, or eight to hit. Eight to hit misses. <laughs> and natural 20. And uh, 12 to hit. Uh, that came up as. Oh, yeah, because you're not adding your thing. No, no. So, yeah. yeah, 12 is exactly what you need, actually. So, give me damage. Nice. Four nice. damage. Um, so, there's, like, two books left. 
uh, when it comes to Severn's turn. I'm just gonna attack it. Alright. That's gonna hit? Yeah, that's gonna hit. Ooh, that's a bit of a whiff on the damage for four damage. Okay. It's uh oh, exactly no. what you need to uh, kill it. Well no, it's more than you need Daddy. to kill it actually. Um, let's go to calm. And... So I've got like a black eye and like a huge goose egg on the top of my head right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also totally messed up. I got I got a lot less hit points than I would like. I'd be like, my God, it's been on books for so scary. Knowledge <laughs> <laughs> power. So you're down to what, three there? Yeah, three out of 12. They messed me up real good, especially that first hit. All right. So, uh, you dealt with that. Uh, what would you like yeah, to do next? <laughs> Maybe I think I need a bit of a break. Can we just hang out? I just need, I need a breather. <laughs> they, they got me real good. Um, did I notice like um, what they looked like when they did that? Was there any telling feature? Um, not particularly. There was one book that kind of looked, for lack of a better word, evil. Um, so that might be a... Um, a telling feature. Hey, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll scan around with investigation. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like I can do that within uh, ten feet because it triggered when I got within five feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, just scan around to see if I see another evil book. Okay. Can you hold on a second. Don't, don't get too close. I'm going to cast divine sense. Okay. Divine sense. Um. Uh... And that only gives you Celestials, Fiends, and Undead in how big a radius? Within 60 feet. Within 60 feet. It also says I can detect good and evil. Um, okay, so... Um, you are not detecting anything within your, uh radius nothing nothing evil nothing um celestial fiend or undead you also notice that i'm not good either <laughs> <laughs> but i'm not evil so he's not pinging as good um no, that's fine so i'm not i'm not good or evil either but i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to be lawful um, what is your, um, oh, I can just open it, that's what I need to do. Oh man, you got, like, massive investigation. So, you don't spot any more of these evil books, but two things do ping on your radar. Um, first is a, um, a silver, like, solid silver letter opener on this desk. Um, and then the second, just up at the top of your vision, you spot on top of um, this one book sh uh, bookcase is a book that has a single gold letter on the spine. The rest, it's got a name, but one of the letters is gold. I'll pick up the silver letter opener and then I'll uh, call to my work friend here. I'll say, hey, and I never got your name. Thanks for saving my ass, Mr. Orc. You don't know my name? I know yours. No. I'm pretty self-centered and absorbed. <laughs> my name is Severin, Severin DeVos. Severin. Could you, could you be a deer and reach that book for me? And I, I point the book out to you. Doesn't look like it's going to bite you. Uh, I'll hesitantly grab it for him. Okay. You uh, pull it down, 
the name is the Elemental Esoterica of Rinarv. Uh, the R in Rinarv is the gold letter. Interesting. And so, um, I will leave it there for you guys, and we will go over to um, Golomov. What are you doing? Hey, Brad, can you just text me the name of that book later? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I guess, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm going to go start, um, I don't know how long it's been, but, uh, basically I guess we would go start serving food to the table. Okay. So... Um, so I'd want to, uh, uh, I'd want to poke my head through the, those doors to see if either of those rooms are the dining room. So, uh... If it's not, I'm not really going to investigate it. This one is the dining room. Hit. I'm gonna go into the dining room and start like setting out some like some breads and stuff. Okay. Uh, and uh, see what's see what's in the dining room. So the dining room, uh, there are large windows uh, forming the entirety of the far wall, uh, looking out onto three planted beds filled with vegetation. Um, there's a crystal chandelier hanging above the table made of dark wood, six matching wooden chairs with scarlet cushion, cushions surround the table, and a seventh chair uh, sits alone in the corner. I'm gonna like look at the, the chair in the corner, like, and on one of my trips back into the kitchen, I'm just gonna like bring it back into the kitchen because I don't okay. want uh, people watching us eat. Right. That chair just seems weird. <laughs> the All weird right. chair at the corner. So you move this in here. And Cumin yes, says, uh, the the... Why are you uh, bringing one of the chairs in here? It doesn't fit at the table. It should. There's only six spots and six chairs. This is the seventh chair. I don't believe you. Why? <laughs> because there are only six chairs. Okay, then I'll like grab his hand and like lead him to the thing and like open the door so that he can see the chairs. Okay. You, and then uh, like point to the other chairs. Take him in to show him. And he says, uh, well, that's odd. There should only be six. Unless unless uh, Matrius brought one in. Who's Matrius? The sage. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, what do you think of that guy? He was kind. Was he dodgy? No, he didn't seem to be. How did his spirit feel? I don't quite understand the question. Amateur. <laughs> and then I'll uh, I'll just kind of turn away and like, yeah, I just put the chair in the kitchen. Um, is there anything like anything else out of place in the dining room? Nothing. The chairs are perfectly straight. Um, the table is set. I will, I, before I leave the room, um, I will nod in acceptance. The chi feels perfect in this room. And then, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll shout out to people that uh, there's some food out. Okay. Uh, um, everyone. Were you, were you like, putting food out to serve it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, like, putting some breads and stuff out there as, uh, as we're, like, making breakfast. Okay. Are you filling the plates, or are you just putting it in the center? Just in the set, like just in the center, like okay. you know, you would like like a little buffet for people to grab what they need. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. And then I'm gonna shout, uh, shout out to the uh, the house and be like, uh, come get some food. All right. So as he's doing that, Scamos, you are heading up the stairs. Um, yeah. And you get up to the top. There is. There's literally a set of armor that's pretty much blocking the way to the left. It's just large enough that you'd have to squeeze by to get to the left. Uh, You do see there's a window behind it and a little bit of light coming in. Um, Push it out the window. (laughs) Uh, um, And there's a door to the right of the stairs? Yep, there's a door to your right. Um, if you squeeze up to it, uh, it's not locked. You also see that there's another door that is on the other side of the, uh, um, hallway there, the landing. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember that they said the master's room was to the right at the top of the stairs, if I'm not mistaken. So yep. I'm gonna just go right. Okay. So... You head right, there is a door here, and there's a door at the end of the hall that's slightly ajar. Uh, uh, can I see anything through the door opening? Um, if you squeeze, if you head up to it, yeah, there's, uh, looks like it might be a bedroom. Okay, well, let's head on in. Alright. Of course it could happen. Okay. David, last words. Yeah. And in here you see a cat on a nice chair. And um what else? Let's go. This is bedroom. Um so it's an open and airy bedroom. Um Canopy bed with scarlet curtains occupying the one corner, jug and wash basin on top of a chest of drawers, and a fluffy black cat is napping on the chair. Um, One wall is covered with a large painting of a gold dragon perched heroically on a mountaintop. Um, As you enter, the cat just hops off and stretches. And um, just heads over to you and does that thing where he rubs himself against your leg. Rubs against my leg. Yeah. Good cat. It's a good cat. I'll I'll pet the cat quick and maybe bust out my uh, detect magic spell. Okay. See if I can find anything within the room here. So you are not catching anything. What's the radius on that? Is it thirty feet or sixty? Uh, thirty feet. Thirty. Okay, you are catching um, magic on the other side of this wall in the room that you passed. Um, Let me just check your passive investigation if you got it. Not a lot. Um, Yeah. You've got enough investigation uh, to spot that there is a... um, a book with a single gold letter in the middle of its name on the spine that's sitting next to the uh, bed. Uh, Well, I will go take a look at that book over there. Is that dresser look open as well? Um, It is. It's only got um, some clothes in it, though. It's... uh... Well, I might go take a look at that book then. Okay. So, it is the Ephes Apocrypha. Um, The gold letter is an E. Sorry, what was the the gold letter? E. E. Okay, well, I'll... I'll, uh, Yeah, I'll grab the book and... uh, Maybe pet the cat. Okay. Hang out with it for a bit. Yeah. The cat follows you wherever you go. <laughs> nice. Um, I might uh, maybe head to that 
room over to the left after I grab that book. Okay. Uh, you head over here, and it is. Hold on, give me a second to select and rotate. Um, there is a fire burning in the fireplace. There are um, a bunch of. Well, it's obviously a trophy room. There's. Okay. Yeah. Um, animal heads adorning the walls, and a bunch of. Uh, books and a pair of swords crossed over the uh, um, fireplace. Uh, you've got your detect magic going and the swords are what's given you the uh, detect magic. Um, it is... Um, would it be... Transmutation, I believe? Transmutation. Okay, well, um, I am probably just gonna go back down the stairs and let the people know that I found them and that I found some magical sensing items upstairs. Okay. Um, yeah, but come eat food. And the cat. Yeah. The cat again, oh, yeah, the cat is the cat is with you the entire way. This is my companion now. Yep. That's great. Is there any uh, uh, collar on the cat or anything like that? There is not. Okay. You're squishy, and forever shall be known as squishy. <laughs> so, um, let's see. So. You head down, and we will go over to Lilith and Corbin as you guys are heading down stairs. So, at the base of the stairs, there is a door. Uh, there's also a hallway with another door down it. Let's open up the door in front of us. Okay. Or I'll yeah. open up the door in front of us. Yes. Squish past, uh... Well, you're small, so you can move through larger creatures' spaces, so you, uh... Squish past them and open the door. There's another two doors here. Okay. <laughs> um... I'll open up the door in front of me. Uh, okay, so the one right next to you? Okay. Yeah. Um, so that is a, uh, it is a dark room, but you can, uh, just barely see that there are some braziers and, um, some sort of circle in the floor. Uh, can I investigate? Yeah. Um, you hear a croaking as you're stepping into the room. Um, give me a moment here. It's... There we go. So, you step in. I don't know if you're going around the circle or into it. Croaking? You hear a croak. Um, I see a frog, isn't there? Is there? Oh, but I used up my. It's a it ritual. Uh, you yeah, ritual you used it as a ritual. So if you want to okay. spend ten minutes doing it again, you can do that, or you can okay. just do what you like. I'm gonna call Corbin in. I'm gonna shout and be like, "Hey, check this shit out." Okay, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna take a quick look at that, and I'm gonna plunk down on my ass. Because I'm gonna basically, I'm going to use my insightful discovery to figure out what this is. Okay. Uh, this, uh, whatever the thing is, you want me to roll a, what is it, a history check? Uh, this would be our. It says upon. 
Well, this one goes upon spending an hour observing or examining a subject and succeeding on an intelligent history check. You can uncover purpose of any object, language, cultural practice, or similar subject. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you do that. Okay. Um, Motherfucker. <laughs> Five. So I imagine I failed that. <laughs> so you're actually proficient in history. Oh, so, do I get, I so did you want to use roll? the passive or did you want to roll for it which would be your 5 the passive uh, would be so 10 would... plus so history is 4 plus 10 is 14 so I did I get 14 I might as well take 14 okay I'll, I'll take 14 yes yeah. so over the 10 so minutes the is it 10 minutes or 1 minute that you study one hour oh one hour okay yeah so you're sitting there for some time. I'll be sitting there for a while, so Lilith, I'll be like, you can go do something if you want. I'm going to study okay. for a bit. While he's doing that, I'm going to go talk to the frog. Okay. So you head over to the frog, and it changes form. Motherfucker, what is that? Uh oh. And decides to, talk to it. attack. <laughs> Would is... I be able to see that? Oh, you spot it, it as soon as it changes. <laughs> you spot it. <laughs> um, so Here I am that? making food, and people are getting attacked by books and imps <laughs> and things. <laughs> Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would I be able to do my uh, my true strike? On it as it's changing form? Uh, not as or it's changing form. It. It's, it's surprising you okay. both. Um, so let's get okay. some initiative from the two of you. Okay. I rolled a d20, oh. right? Um, yeah. So well, you there should be... There's an initiative. Yeah, there should be a thing that says initiative, and you click on that, and it should roll for you. There oh, you see okay, your armor it. class? It should be right I got a 12. Okay. And what was yours? Yeah, 21. 21. Okay. And... Uh, I want to roll for him. Okay. So, Corbin, you're up first. Uh, I'm going to uh, use a cantrip, and I'm going to point my finger at it, and uh, I'm going to cast True Strike. Okay. So I, my match grants me a brief insight into the target's defenses, and on my next turn, I gain advantage on the first attack roll on the target. Okay. So you are and concentrating on it to do that. Yeah. And then it is this strange creature's turn. Um, on it out. It is right next to Lilith, so it's going to go rah, and swing its tiny little claws at you. Um, it is going to roll an 18 to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So... Nice hate us tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... And Melissa, you actually should know more than one spell, too. You, um... Uh, yeah, I feel like I really don't have a lot of anything, but... Yeah. Um, you should have... You, 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 uh, druids prepare them per day from their spell list. So you should you should have access to at least, um, your... five at your level. Yeah. Wisdom modifier I plus level, I think, right? That, though. For recruiting my character, I, I don't know how to find all that stuff. So there should be yeah, a manage fine. spells button. Yeah, you go to spells and then it's manage spells in, in a red box by the search. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you go to known spells. And you should be able to learn anything on the list. Well, it, it'll stop you when you hit your uh, maximum. Um, so, and actually, instead of clawing you, 
he is going to scare you. Um, so I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay. Thirteen. Uh, all right. So he looks at you and, um, you remember in, um, you've seen Beetlejuice, right? You got these brothers. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> he, he does one of those things where he like stretches his face out and, uh, kind of screams at you, but you're made of tougher stuff. You grew up in the wilds alone, so <laughs> it, uh, doesn't scare you. Um, Great. And now it is your turn. Um. Okay. Um. I'm going to do to use a uh, ice knife, which has a range of sixty feet. And do I just click on it to roll for it, or? Uh, yeah, so Ice Knife is a, um, a ranged spell, so you would have, um, disadvantage to do that. Okay, so maybe because he's close to me, um, I use the sickle and just, like, stab him. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> Okay. Uh, again, I just okay. I just roll for it. Or you can and use I one of your. Uh, you can also use a chance. Uh, nineteen is good. So you can roll your uh, um, damage on it. Oh, okay. Zero. <laughs> no. What? How, how does that work? Because she's got nine strength. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you'll do you'll do a You're minimum of one. Can... I'll say you do a minimum <laughs> of one. <laughs> you probably wanna do a, a cantrip next time, Melissa. Okay. Like you could you could try your bonfire on him. Yeah, your bonfire would work. Yeah. Okay. Well I already tried to hit him with my sickle, it didn't work, so <laughs> Alright. Well, oh it worked. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it worked. I like didn't even scratch him. <laughs> So, uh, up next is uh, Corbin. Yeah, I'd like to get within, uh, let's see here, within 15 feet of him, but okay. I'm not close enough that I'm within 15 feet of Lilith there. Okay. And then so... I'll cast uh, Thunder Wave. Um, all right. I imagine if I go into the corner over yeah, here. Yeah, if you go into the corner, you can blast him with a Thunder Wave. Um, so that's a oh. constitution saving throw, right? Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, con save of 14. All right. He rolls a 13. Nice. So if uh, a 2d oh, he actually has damage advantage. And he rolls a 1. So yeah, he still fails. Even better. Right? So I get uh, critical. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, and he's pushed 10 feet away from me when I do it. Yep. Well. Do it. There we go. Back into the wall. Three, motherfucker. Didn't do shit. <laughs> so you rolled three. All yeah. right. And he he, gets, doesn't it also blast him away, though? He gets blasted he blast 10 feet away, away, but into the wall. So I'd say so roll me a d6. Okay. Where is a D6? What? One. Oh Beautiful. <laughs> and just so you guys know, I gotta go pretty quickly here okay. because I still gotta get up to 445. So I'll yeah. give you another uh, couple rounds and then I gotta I gotta bail. All right. So. But you guys can just play my character as is if he doesn't die. Right. <laughs> when you. Uh smash him up like that he's kind of scared even though he's next to someone that he could attack he's going to go invisible and try running away so um 
Um, Does she get an attack of opportunity you can, as he's leaving? You can do an attack of opportunity. It's going to be at disadvantage. Uh, you're using a touch screen, right? Or are you using a laptop? An iPad? iPad? Okay. <laughs> like yeah. <zombie>. So <laughs> if you uh, if you click and hold on the attack roll, it'll let you select disadvantage. Okay. Um, so how should I do? I guess um, the. It would have to be. Producer, it would have right? to be your sickle in order to do an attack of opportunity. My sickle. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try it. All right. Oh wait, I, um... Or you can just roll it twice and take the lower one. Yeah, roll a d20 okay. twice. Yeah, just... Not the damage, so... but the d20. Oh, sorry. That's it, right to hit, right? Yeah, that's it, hit. Damn, well, first one's a 20. But roll again and... Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. take the lowest one. 20. <laughs> Fuck okay. Me. Yeah. Hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and then... <laughs> The damage, I gotta roll that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, give me something. What zero. The fuck? <laughs> roll a one zero. again? Actually you rolled your yeah. you rolled your damage earlier, which was a three. We'll take yeah, that. Let's do that one. We'll use that one, because you accidentally rolled your damage before rolling to hit. Okay. So, so technically wait. it is a two. No, you stay down. You're gonna step on something and <laughs> mess around with it. Um, okay, so you actually kill him. He he goes invisible, and you just swing that sickle really fast, and his little limp form uh, comes back visible and lands on the uh, floor just a few feet away from you. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to have to take off. Okay. But feel free to play my character as such. Yeah. Have a good All right. one. All right, guys, I'll okay. see you next week. All right, see take you. Care. Okay. So, what would you like to do? Oh, um... Oh, my God. Uh, I, I want to check out the circle. Like, I want to see what I can... Okay. Ascertain from what it is. Um, or what's he not going to do his meditation for an hour? Yeah, on? he's going to do his meditation for an hour. He'll show us exactly what it is in yeah. an hour. Okay, okay. Um, what is that little thing in the middle of the room? Is that a chest? Is that a... Oh, that's a uh, an empty bookshelf, sorry. Oh, an empty bookshelf. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess while um, Corbin is in doing his investigation. There's not much more I can do in this room, so I might leave to look at the uh, room next to, next door. Okay. Uh, to the right. Remember, you just got attacked, so it's not always the best idea to go off alone. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you might want to go and so find some people, backup. Can people hear me shouting for food? Like, uh, how, probably how by now, yeah. Can I get the show? Yeah, they'll be hearing you now. So, should I just I'll stay with Patrick there. until he's finished? Maybe I'll just stay with him until he's finished his investigation. Okay. And then we can move to the next person. All right. So in that case, we'll head up. And um, you guys here, Severn and uh, Iggy, you are hearing it. Um, it's about the time that he's shouting for food, that you guys were shouting for help. So that's why that's why he didn't hear. Um, so yeah, you guys um, are hearing him now shouting about food again. All right, I guess I'll look at uh, Severn and we like want to go. Uh, probably. I'm pretty beat up. I think I need a bit of a break before he's going. Melissa, you can also. You can use your telepathic thing to talk to people within 30 feet, too. Okay. Uh, I might telepathically tell people there's a weird ass um, satanic circle shit over here and we just got attacked by something. And it has maybe 
He described the little circle thing because I have a feeling it is somewhat connected to the um, books that we keep finding. All right. Or maybe it's one of you can connect to it. So um, you'd only be able to talk to one person within okay. thirty feet. Yeah. Um, so, um, so within one of these two dudes. I'll tell you. Brian. I'll tell you. Within thirty feet would be um, Golomov because he's basically oh, right Golomov. above you. Okay. And Golomov, you can you can reply. Oh, food. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, <laughs> worry about that later. Come get some food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't investigate <laughs> the rituals of <laughs> stomach. Step over it, you idiot. There you go. Uh, satanic rituals later. Food now. And <laughs> all of says, he's just a leaf in the wind. Uh, you gotta quit using your paws to drink it. Full stomach e makes for full brain. That cat is totally gonna go to that third food bowl right there for sure. Oh yeah, as soon as you go in there. Um, so are you gonna head back up, um, Lilith? Yeah, I'll come to eat. Seems to be coming to the dining room. Okay. I'm gonna tell everybody about the um, magical and I'll say we're go. eating. Yeah. Um, oh, I need to... I'm gonna, once we get there, if he tells me, I'm just gonna like, but I'm just gonna point to the dining room and like there's some there's some bread so I'll be out with the uh, the rest as uh, as I kind of like hand uh, each of you like one kind of like breakfast dish, so like one plate has like fried eggs on it and like one plate has like scrambled eggs as you guys kind of make your way into the thing, <laughs> kind of like an assembly line, you know, like a buffet. Yeah. I skip all the eggs and I just go to the bacon and sausage. <laughs> I respect it. Okay. And of course, I gotta move everything around because <laughs> I forgot that uh, um, Patrick left. There we go. I also make sure that I stay behind uh, Sever uh, Severus. Never in, not not sever a snake. Yeah. <laughs> sever a snake. And then let's turn on player three. There. There we go. So I might as well put this on top so that I can actually see what's going on on the stream. Okay. So. You guys are heading over, and Lilith is coming up. And go back up. And you guys are... Heading in. And are you guys going through the kitchen, or... Yeah, I'm well. gonna go through the kitchen. I'm a bit tentative of the dining room. Okay. All so right. I'm gonna be in the kitchen for a second before I go in. Okay. I'm like, I stare. Uh, I also stare, um, kind of in disbelief, disbelief of everyone that's half dead. I'm like, the hell happened to everyone? Is they're all going past me? <laughs> and I'm like passing out these plates. <laughs> So where some stories came to life. Let's put it that way. Um... Wasn't my cat. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Do you have your cat with you right now? Yeah. I... Is he still following you? Yep. Yeah. I'll be like, don't let that cat in the dining room. Keep him in the kitchen. Not safe in there. Alright. Uh, can, you, can you tell me my cat's name? I want to know my cat's name. Um. It'll take you ten minutes to cast. Minutes. I'm not gonna waste my ritual on your cat's name. I'll just tell you it's what you. So you'll shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. So you guys take. Does it speak with animals last for like an hour though? Does it? 
didn't really get a chance to start it because I got attacked by the frog. So I'd have to start the uh, you, ritual all over again. You did it yeah, but you had it from the very oh, first so cat. It's still, it's still working? Okay, I'll ask Yeah, the it's cat. been less than an hour. Um, he says, um, my name is, uh, my name's Stripe. Hi, Stripe. The other cat told me that the dining room was a dangerous place. It is. Do you think it is? Yes. I saw Why someone go in. One of the lizard guys. Cherry them. What, what was the na- the, li the lizard's name? Is that the name of it? No, no, the chair ate him when he went the in. The chair? The chair ate the lizard? Yes. What did the chair look like? Uh, <laughs> he said it looked like this one that's in the kitchen. So I, guess... uh, I might call the guys over and say there's an evil chair here. <laughs> I uh, jump back five feet. <laughs> um, they don't sit in the chair. <laughs> and I keep an eye out for books. Okay, there are no books in here. Um, uh, is everyone Can staying I... in the room or? I'm not staying there. Fuck this place. <laughs> I'm going back to the hallway. I'll take my food with me. Um, hold on. Uh, I, I, like, I can, can use I my. I... Can I set the, the chair on fire? The evil I, I have identify. I could try and identify the chair. I have a, okay. a spell to try and identify um, it. So if you wanted to, you could put a bonfire under a chair. Yeah. You'd have to choose one, yeah. Melissa. Uh, well, we'll have you identify it first. They'll be like, hey, the cat says this chair is evil and eats lizards. Can someone check it out? Let's identify so... the one. Not... 50 minutes later? Well, there's five chairs here. Mine's only a one minute cast time. If you cast it, can you do rituals as a bard or not? Um, I don't know if I can. I don't think you can. I'm not sure. I don't think I can. So. Um. No, are they how. Really how much would we know about monsters like so you could roll an arcana check um as i think i know what's going on or but... a history check uh if i have proficiency in history that means yep. does that mean i just get the 10 i can go with the 10 roll it would be 10 plus yeah okay well it's 11 Okay, 11. <laughs> I'll something, take the 11 over trying to roll it. Something is tickling in your head and you don't know quite what. Uh, I would like to go and inspect uh, the other chair that I removed from the room. Okay. You, you inspect that chair. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. All right. So uh, Lilith said there's something wrong with the chairs, right? Yep. Yeah. I go, what's wrong with the chairs? I say this, the cat told me that this chair here ate someone. I'll investigate the chair in front of me without touching it. Mm -hmm. um, but at this time, I'm going to assume it's some sort of like a device or, or something. I maybe folded on the cat and ate it. Um, so you're looking over it and there doesn't appear to be anything mechanical about it. It's just a normal chair, as far as you can tell. Um, what would I know about monsters myself? Um, that would also be history or arcana, which I believe is 17 for you, right? Yeah, but I rolled, so I got a nine. <laughs> oh, you decided to roll? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you... I don't know. I got I got I got beat up by a, a bunch of books. That's true. So I'm gonna stand. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna stand back five feet. Okay, you're you're right up next the, to the window, or you can, I guess. Oh, that's a window. Yes. Oh, I thought I could step into there. No, it's a it's um, a window. I'll, I'll 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 walk into the corner. Oh, actually, I'll leave where Lilith is, because we can uh 
go at the same place, right? Because we're small. Yep. And then I'll pull out my gun and I'll shoot the chair in front of us. Okay. Okay. I'll be like, so, I want to try something here. You'll uh, shoot the chair that's in the kitchen. Can I step away? Can I step away slightly while he shoots the chair? <laughs> I'm gonna step back. As well. All right. Just, just gonna try to blast the chair I can see. So you blast the chair that's in the kitchen. Um, no roll really necessary because yeah. it's right in front of you. Um, okay, okay, good. <laughs> you hit it and the bullet goes through and the cats scatter. Also, that's really loud if nobody's seen a gun before. So guns aren't exactly um, rare. Um, in a smaller town, they would be. But in a place like Baldur's Gate, where you guys have been for at least a little bit, um, they're around. Well, it's not that chair. <laughs> uh, I look over to... Um... I'm off, I'll look over to Severin and be like, use your special eyes. And then I point to the chairs, the other chairs. What? Use your special eyes. Okay. I like, point to the chairs. Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, oh, I thought you were just, okay, never mind. I, I took that a different way. Okay, yeah, I'll walk in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, this is like the gazebo the story. So, uh, Divine Sense isn't giving you um, uh, Fey Fiend Undead. Actually, you are getting a ping of Undead beneath you. What the fuck? Is there any evil in this room? Um, in this room, um, give me a moment to see what you Oh, well, I guess, now that, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably be careful about the swearing when we start actually doing um, stuff that you get to monetize for it. Yeah, uh, you're, you're getting no evil. You're just getting, um, uh, undead below you. Ah. Uh. I, I take a big whiff, like, I smell sacrilegiousness below us. I go, that's interesting, as the, yeah, with, like, the mouthful of bacon. There's undead beneath us, I think. I don't know what I think there is, but... I'll be like, I told you there's some satanic shit going on downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> take your balloon <laughs> stick and yeah, fire the gun to the floor and see if you can hit one. Do you want me to shoot to the floor? Oh, I don't know. I don't like. I don't even know if the floor is like gonna come alive and kill me at this point. I tap on the floor. Um, how how like thick do I think it is? Um, it could be pretty thick. I'm gonna say I don't think it would work. Well, at least then if you shoot the floor, at least we'll know it's not gonna come alive and kill us. Actually, no. I don't even stomp it. Thinking of it, I don't think it would be. It it would be. These are um, regular boards. You just have to uh, gauge whether or not you're over a um, a beam. All right, I'll go to where uh, Everin is, and I'll I'll tap with the end of my dagger to see if there's a beam there. Okay, um, you're you find a spot where there doesn't appear to be a beam. All right, I pull my goggles down and I go stand back, and I blow a hole to the floor. All right. You hear the shattering of glass as you shoot down. Uh, roll me an attack with disadvantage. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit him below. What do I call blind fire? Um, uh, 14 is my low roll. Okay. Um, 14 will do it. So, um... I love it. I love it. Yeah, roll me some damage. No. Five damage. Five damage, okay. 
So, um, you're s so six seconds is all you've got. So you're not your your um, divine sense is over now. But uh, yeah, you shot and you heard sh glass shatter. That's what you know. Uh. Okay, um, I pull up my little uh, clockwork cat with the ball bearing. Mm -hmm. I use my magical tinkering to light up the ball bearing, and I drop it through the hole All right. to see what I can see down All there. Right. Okay, so what you see this is um, uh, from where you are, you see a uh, table, um, pretty small view of the room, but you see a table. Uh, with glass vessels on it, um, and one of them is shattered, and there is a hand that's blown almost in two, um, and you do kind of see um, movement in a couple of the other um, jars on that table. I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> I'll, I'll move if anybody else wants to look in and take a look. What would I know about hands and jars? <laughs> um, give me some arcana. Uh, quick question. Uh, is 22. The... Yep, Connor? Sorry. Uh, so, sorry, is this like a patio that goes just outside? Uh, or is this like a deck? That is a patio arboreum kind of thing. Okay. Uh, the, um, the scary, um, bleh, I can't talk now. <laughs> um, the cats are giving me the bad juju for the chairs. So I'm going to start putting the chairs inside the um, arbitorium instead of uh, at, around the table so that we can still eat at the table <laughs> okay. just without the chairs. <laughs> um, so, uh, well, he's shooting through the floor. First, we'll go with the 22. Um, you would know these as crawling claws. They are from necromantic, um, experimentation. This is, uh, yeah. Someone created some crawling claws down there. Yeah, I don't like that idea. Oh, uh, ew. Uh, yeah. And, then, and I, I tell I tell everybody that there's some crawling undead hands down there. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, let's hope we don't get too handsy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go I don't want to go down there. Uh, oh, I'm turning that way too far. Uh, so Golomov, um, which chairs are you taking? Uh, I'm gonna start start with the one on the north side of the table, okay. and just take them out and put them outside one by one. All right. And are you going through the south door, or are you going through the kitchen? Uh, well, can I? Th no, no. I want to put them in the uh, yeah, like the tree area. Yeah. There's. Yeah, I like want to throw them out the window. Okay, so you're breaking the window to toss it out. Oh, is it? Does it have to be like broken? Yeah. There's no way to. Oh. Yeah, um, they don't open. It's just, it's just a uh, one single glass pane. I just couldn't do it without making those windows way too big. Okay, so it was only. Oh, okay. See, I thought it was. Mm. No, I'm sorry. Damn it. Um. All right. Well, I'll, I'll start. With, um, I'll take the first one through the south door. Okay. So. Because I want to see like. Uh, I'm not going to just straight up throw it through a glass window, I just, but I do want it out of the fucking... Alright. That, as you're going genius. to open that door, is when I don't have a chair version, but I do have a barrel. Um, <laughs> and we go into this, I believe it's, yes, here. Let's get, we can get initiative from everyone this time. Uh, I knew it. I got knew 20. it. 
27. Got two. I got 19. 19, and Golmov got... So, Iggy and Golmov, I missed yours. I got 15. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, so, was it the one that I picked up? Was the one that transformed, or is nope. it the one on the south side? It was the one on the south side of the table. Okay. Alright, so we are starting with Iggy. So, you are in the room when it okay, transforms. Well, yeah, and it's only like five feet away from me. Yep. Alright, I, I will um, pull out a little clockwork gnome holding a mirror with a flandel steel skin symbol on it. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll activate it and cast uh, Sanctuary on myself. Okay. So if this thing attacks me, it has to succeed on a wisdom save 15 first. All right. Um... And actually, I'll, um, I'll chance it right now and I'll try running behind uh, uh, or my friend with the uh, horns here above me. Alright, so you try running up there and it's going to, uh, so it's got disadvantage then because of that, right? No, I ward a uh, creature within range until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. On a failed save, it must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. All right, so it's going for you. What is the saving throw, DC? 15 wisdom. 15, okay, so it's got to choose someone else. So it's uh, Pseudopod goes out to get you and then swats back around and goes for um, Golomov for a six to hit. Like... <laughs> I like swatted away with my trunk. Sorry. All right. So, um... it's like um, I like uh, it's like a wax on wax off thing. It's like. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next is Lilith. Bonfire? Uh, bonfire spell? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, do I just uh, roll the damage for that? I, I just have to, it all, it says it's dexterity 14. Okay, so it has to roll a dexterity saving throw. Um, and it rolls a 15, so it's going to take half damage. So you roll the damage and it takes half. Damage. I rolled an eight. All right. So four damage. Okay. And um. All right. And then next is Skemos. Um. I was gonna cast uh, the thunder clap cantrip. The Thunderclap Cantrip, okay. Do not recognize that one. I don't think I've used it before. Um, I create a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard up to 100 feet away. Each creature within range other than you must succeed on a constitution saving throw. Okay. Or take 1d6 of thunder damage. Alright, so you're going to have to move up within 5 feet to do that. So you move up to him. Um, each creature... Wait, does everybody each, take... Yeah, everyone within 5 feet of you. Oh. The sound oh, okay. can I'm be a... Yeah, okay, yeah, this is where I was getting confused as well. So the sound can be heard a hundred feet away, but the actual damage range is only five feet around right. him. 
but everyone within oh, five weird. feet of you has to roll the saving throw. Who's within five uh, feet? Right so you need to come down one more, I think. Oh no, uh, no, I think that hurts everyone. So that would hurt her still. Maybe I won't cast that. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, I'll do uh, vicious mockery instead. All right. What does it roll? Is that wisdom? Yeah, wisdom thirteen. Okay. Oh, and it's safe. Hold a piece that. of shit chair. Sixteen. Nice. Okay. Um, for my bonus action, I'll do bardic inspiration on who's next? Uh, Golomov would be next. I'll do it on Golomov then. Okay. And then that makes it Golomov's turn. Just start hearing um, music in the background. Da -da 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 um, I am going to. So, what would a chair count as for a weapon? It would be um, an improvised weapon. Okay, but okay, so I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna have. Uh, so you wouldn't have your proficiency on the attack. I don't have proficiency with it, but uh, I'm gonna hit it with the chair anyways because okay. I'm carrying the chair, and so, I just feel like that's. Uh... All right, that would be. I would say that would be strength. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, 13. 13, um, and this thing is... That hits. A. Hey, what damage do I do with a wooden chair? Damage, I would say that would be like a uh, club. And clubs, I believe, are D4. You also have that bardic inspiration as well. Uh, that's for the D20, not yeah. the, the D damage. It's like a wrestling maneuver. Mm -hmm. Well, you can add well, I'm, I'm like... one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. You can add it to whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, but not damage roll. Yeah, not damage roll. Um, okay, um, all right. do you want to go with D4? Uh, is yeah. Club D4, D6? D4. Okay. Uh, or is Club D6? Did I get that wrong? Uh, no, it's D4, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Either They're right. Uh take the roll because it was four so it'll do four damage because it's the higher of the at six average anyways so okay oh yeah straight up four four damage with the chair the chair you break a chair all of a sudden a chair turns into the one right over the head you break a chair over the chair's head <laughs> and then it uh, is yeah Oh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, trunk it in the face now. Okay, trunk it in the face. Oh, uh, because I can use my trunk as a bonus action. Uh, oh wait. Um, hold on. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't think I can because I ha I just realized unarmed strike has to come from a. Arm strike or a monk weapon. Right. Okay. I don't think a chair counts as a monk weapon. It does not. So I will not get to punch <laughs> him. In, I will not get to punch him with my trunk after all. Alright. Uh, okay. I think that's about the end of my turn. Okay. Then it would be Severn. Um, I'll walk up to the chair and I'll hit it. Okay. Hit a chair with a chair. You'll whack it with a chair as well. I'm hitting it with my sword. Okay. <laughs> 16, 16 hits. Hit. That hits. 11 damage. 11. Nice. It is looking pretty bad. Um, then it is its turn. Um, I'm gonna roll a d6 to see which of the two of you it attacks. Um, I was gonna say, after this fight, I have to go. Okay. Um, 
so after this fight we'll uh, end it then and I guess we'll have to pick up next time finishing the house off and then go to Icewind Dale um so uh yeah he's gonna attack uh Severin with a uh, 10 to hit which isn't gonna hit so we are back up on top with Iggy. All right, I'm gonna. Um, uh, does he have cover against me from where I am, or can I duck under the table and shoot him? Oh, you can duck under the table. You're tiny. I'm gonna pull out my Clockwork Dragon, um, Dragon Toy, twist it, and fire a firebolt at him. All right. Fire. Pew. Twenty-six. Oh boy, was that a crit? No, it's a nineteen. Oh, so close. Okay, yeah. Eight fire damage right. right through his face. It is looking on death's door. Um, and then it is Lilith's turn. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do the bonfire again. Okay. So have it roll a dexterity. Um, it manages to save again, uh, but it's half damage. Oh shit! I only rolled a one for damage. So okay. Nothing. Sorry, guys. Um, minimum one, so it still takes one. Uh, next is Skamos. and try and or no there's not room for me to do that um yeah you can you can walk past anyone you can climb up on the table too if you like if you're being beat up by its own kind uh looking for being yeah. chair being beat up by a chair I'm gonna are go you can try to make him dry to death <laughs> true but just sing at it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go on the table and try and stab it with my uh right here cool Um, so I rolled a hit, right? Yep. Oh, that's not great. Nine? Nine is a miss. You, uh, stab forward and you, you get, like, this gross gluey substance that, um, kind of slides off the side of it. You, uh, as it, as it kind of, like, moves out of the way, the, the chair back kind of curves around and you get this glue and pull out and it's pretty sick. Um, uh, tasty. Well, I guess that's uh, pretty much my turn. If I try and disengage, I would have to take an action or uh, opportunity attack, so I'm pretty much just gonna, yeah. I guess, uh, give uh, Bardic inspiration to who's the person to my left, sorry. Um, so you've got Severin to your left. Severin, okay, I'll give him Severin. I'll give him a nice little bardic inspiration. Okay. Um, and then next is Golomov. Alright. Now, this time that I don't have a chair in my hands, that's, that's. I'm gonna punch it. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna do monk things and punch it <laughs> yes uh 15 to hit 15 hits nice uh, i hit it for eight damage yeah and that is enough to kill it um it kind of you you punch it in the right spot you, you know exactly where it is you basically punch it in the chair equivalent of the gut and it kind of just folds <laughs> down over you um, the sticky substance is still like gross and all over your hands um, but it's kind of uh, uh, once you manage to get your hand off of it 
uh, it starts to dissolve. And that is where we will end it for today. Uh, just because we've got two people now who've had to leave early. We were shooting for about two hours, but things are taking a little longer than I uh, was hoping it would. Um, uh, as I kill the chair, oh, sorry, yeah. hold on for, as, I don't mean to interrupt Brad, but That's fine. as I kill the chair, uh, he's going to say, I knew we couldn't sit down on the job. <laughs> You got some glasses that you, uh, sunglasses that you take off? <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure that bonfire is still burning under it. <laughs> yeah, it's cooking. Um, so, we'll call it there. Um, if you guys want to do this again uh, next week for the same time so that we can finish this up, um, and then we'll do our first live game after that when uh, Melissa's not um, working so late. Yeah, that'll work perfect for me because I'm working till 7.30 again next week, right. next Sunday, and then uh, the Sunday after that I have it off. Okay. So should be good. Okay. Cool beans. So we will uh, do this again next week. Hopefully um, you guys can get through it and maybe we'll manage to, uh, push forward. We can, yeah, you guys will level when you finish this, uh, this mansion. So, um, hopefully we'll be able to do that, uh, next week. And yeah, I'll, uh, talk to you all later. Yeah. All right. See ya. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. I like it. I love it. Yeah. Cute. <laughs>